I shoot water photography because I love being in the water, in the ocean, and just being creative and creating those photos. And what I do, I love it. You know, I'd do it even if I didn't get paid. I love being there. That's one of my favorite places. You are there, you don't have your phone, you don't have the computer, you don't have anyone really talking to you. You are in your zone. My favorite place to be in the world. A lot of times I'll be out and about and people come to me and go, Rick, I just saw one of the most incredible pictures. Just, and I go, whoa, stop. Is it a surfing picture? And they go, yeah. And I go, that's not me, that's my son. And it's kind of a good feeling. It's a great feeling, actually. When you get a cool photo from a photographer, you kind of like, you're like, oh, who shot that? Oh, Zach, that was sick. You know, Zach's a good photographer. So then it like, it creates in your mind that this guy's, you know, if you're gonna commit and put yourself to the line, this guy's gonna be right there putting himself to the line. Welcome to Tahiti. Anytime you travel with someone, you, you get that bond, you know, through those experiences on the road, and you get to see people at their best and at their worst, and that's what makes you good friends in the end, is being able to laugh through it all. Oh, no, the other way, Jesse. Oh, boy. <laughs> as far as Zach's, uh, his talent and uh, what he does in the water as well on land, his entire act, I think he's the best photographer I've ever worked with. And um, I'm, I'm grateful to have that opportunity and <clears throat> I hope he never sees this. <laughs> Wherever you go in the world to go shoot photos or travel to, you wanna make it your own and something different. It's not an easy thing to do when you come to Tahiti, which has been photographed by so many photographers, different lenses, angles, everything like that. But if I go out there and get one amazing photo, I'm so stoked. You know, I want to bring back photos that will make people like see a old spot in a new way or make the photo editor jump up or want to run a, a spread or a cover or anything like that or even make the surfers really happy and get them shots published that's just like in the end of the whole trip that's the most important thing to me going out into the water on any given day whether it's two feet or 20 feet you got to be prepared for the getting hit or taking a pounding or go under or anything like that. So you always got to be prepared for the worst and, you know, hope for the best. The positions and places Zach gets is awesome. And I'll tell you, when Zach gets sucked over the falls in the position he is at, is like when I take a bad wipeout. It's like he's, he's taking the same wipeout as me. He's, he's getting a beating. No one really realizes what you're going through under the water there. And, you know, from the surf, it just seems like, oh, just dive underneath the wave, you're fine. But how much turbulence, how shallow, how sharp the reef is, and everything. You know, I love going out and just being as creative as possible and getting that photo that, you know, you can just stare at and just be like, wow, that's a good day.